Alright, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei, Radokuza Noha versus the Soulless Army. I accidentally started a stream when I was trying to record this because I recorded OBS, and I accidentally hit start streaming instead of start recording, so that was, uh, that was fucking annoying. <laughs> So, what demon could we possibly be thinking about? It's clearly Goto. Well, that's not true. You can teach a Persian uh, Surf. I'm sure there's another cat Pokemon that can use Surf, too. Oh, yeah, that probably makes some sense. Yeah, let's try to level with him. Let's try to level with our good pal, uh, Large Tarrasque. Oops. Let me get that right one day. Like, I can... I can file this by taxes, yeah. Oh yeah, my shooter's dead. Huh. See, cause now I'm all frazzled with the whole stream thing, because I have to keep checking Twitter to make sure nothing goes live that shouldn't have. <sighs> the curse. Make it into Kanoya. Yes, I can. Now Kanoya is still, I believe. St oh no! Did they get their shipment back? Ah, sweet. Well, I guess now's a good opportunity to sell uh, some of these. Get a thousand yen for that uh, wood ornament, and that Rakuyo chalice will be fine for. Uh, in what we had to pay for Nawaki Sama. Yeah, I could sell that, but uh, never. <laughs> could get the clips, but I don't feel like we need them yet. Cool. So let's head into the Goma Den. This is mostly so I can heal up and I can show you, because this episode will be rather short otherwise, I, I think. But first, I'm gonna... Sure, I should have really just used the shit dumb. Oh well. Anyway, now we can forge, which... Ooh. These weren't as good last time. So anyway, we can buff our attack with, uh, cool things. Now, the only one I would, uh... Because I have... A lot of... I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna throw, uh, Jupoko in. Will that always increase my vitality, or... But it makes me strong against death, so, uh... I'll definitely go for that. Plus, it gives our katana just a little more power. And I don't think you can get fusion accidents. Though if you do fuse on a, I believe, a new moon, it uh, reverts your katana back to zero. Anything that ever went into it is now, you wasted it, it's gone forever. It can be useful if you want to build it a certain way, but uh... Just be careful about that. But it should show that I'm, yep, I'm strong against death and my vitality is naturally higher. But like I said, there going, there's going to be a case where uh, a certain special four demons must be fused into your katana to make it the ultimate katana. I don't know if you have to just do those four in a row, or as long as they just happen to be in your katana at any point, if it will become that. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of different guides and no one's really clear, but uh, again, we won't have to worry about that till pretty late. Who are you, my tall compatriot? I don't know what you could be, but I don't really care. You got any info? Rin's cute. I believe this is what takes us to the basement. Like, 
totally forgot which door gets us to the basement. No, that's not it at all. It's also not... Wait, no. I was right. I have to believe in myself more often. It's a character flaw. Yeah, totally. Oh. Oh, I forgot you could actually do that. Huh. Oh, so much the better. Learn something new every day. Hey there, large Tarask. Yeah, I worked really hard on them. I got some new, uh, I got some oils. Uh, okay. Yeah, you up for it? <laughs> oh yeah, I can't just shove you into a tube, huh? Well, time for our first bit of demon negotiation! Were you really about to be my demon for a buck? So, do me more. Oh, come on. Take it, take it, what do I care? I'm gonna beat you with a rake! Yeah, dude, it was ten bucks. Chill. Remember, viewers, if you ever need someone to, uh... If someone ever asks you to ferry them across the water, just ask for nineteen dollars. <laughs> Toot. Anyway, now all the... We can access pretty much all the, uh, water areas in the game. Well, it would be if you just let me video game. I got how bad the encounter rate is down here. Thank God for that repulse water. Anyway, it's time to explore the capital a bit. I have a distinct feeling that, uh, Audacity is making, uh... Because I'm having issues with my mic auto-adjusting. Because it either... Either I let it auto-adjust and it sounds fine, but occasionally clips, or I don't let it auto-adjust and it sounds like shit. Anyway, with Tarask we can get into some pretty cool areas and get some nice items. So we can head pretty much anywhere we want. Plus that flu kind of reminds me of Golden Sun. I don't remember specifically what song I'm thinking of, but uh... It do. Oh, it's the, it's the uh, Coloma Forest, I think. what I wanted. Uh, the other items you can get around here are Kotetsu Sake, Strength and, ooh, strength and Sense, Vitality and Sense, and a Havanese figure. I should probably... Besides, you all want to see this. If you want to know what items are around, you gotta... be good. I'll at the very least try to find that Strength and Sense. Weirdly 
program bit. Count oh, beat. That's cool. I don't know why he doesn't just stick around. It'd be a lot easier for him, and me. I wonder how far we can go. Not too far. Anyway, there are also training halls, which are little dungeons we can access in the game now. I'm going to save those for later. Because, A, I don't know really if there's that strength and sense I wanted. I'm going to save those for later because, A, I don't really know much about them. B, the longest training hall in the game, which is where you fight most of the super bosses you can't access until you get... It's similar to Digital Devil Saga. Once you get to the last uh, possible floor of the last dungeon is when the final room activates. So I'm just going to save all the training halls for the end. I believe that's one over there, but it could also be the next uh, dungeon in the game, so I'm also going to probably hold off on that for now. Look at all this fun and cool stuff. It's really long. Better be something good. Yeah, the Vitality Instance I wanted. That's pretty nice. Anyway, I totally forget where uh, North Harumi Cho is, but I think we just have to... Uh, I think we just have to go into Harumi Cho, and there's a spot where we can call him. Uh, I don't really remember much about this part of the game, to be perfectly candid. At this point of the game, when I was playing it, I was still not incredibly into it. Because, yeah, I might as well uh, do a little bit of story time while we're stuck here walking. I bought this game back in 2013 with uh, my first YouTube paycheck. And, uh, you know what, that, uh, that one over there is probably where we have to go. But I'm already here, so I'm going to tell you with some story time. Uh, and I kept picking it up and dropping it throughout those years. And I got to, like, Chapter 3 in, like, 20, uh, 2013 and then just dropped it. I think we do enough of those, he'll eventually give you a gift. And so, in late 2015, I decided I was going to LP this game, because it's probably the Rido games are the last two SMT games on the PS2 I really want to cover. And so, uh, I took a January semester class in, uh, 2016, January 2016. And it was pretty lonely and snowy up there, and I just played Rido on my TV, and I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of bored, I don't really like this game. And I kept going at it, and eventually it really clicked. Yeah, I had to uh, swim, my mistake. Well, now you see what happens if you try to do it, and... You know. I don't know why I'm running. But yeah, so around Chapter 5 is when it really started to click and I started actually having fun with it. Because I kept trying to treat it like Dragon Guard 3. Because I had, uh, I just recorded some more of it. So I'm like, ah, oh, why can't this game be cool? I want to dodge, I don't want to just tank blows. And like, it just took me a second, but eventually, once I got the hang of it, it I beat the rest of the game in I think like three days. This isn't a long game. I think it might even be shorter than Digital Devil Saga, but who's to say? Grinding is uh, a lot more of a bitch in Digital Devil Saga. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the area we want. That's not cool. Uh. Reading its mind, or her mind, rather. Yes! Huh. Oh, 
little bit of world building. Oh, that, that, that just put me right over here. Large Tarrasque, help me out! I wonder if it's Tarrasque or like Terrasque or something. I got into a similar thing with, uh, when I was reading Romeo and Juliet, like, uh, called the Montagues, not the Montagues. Am I messing up? Give me a second. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I was panicking for a second. I just don't like forgetting what to do. And in this game, I totally forgot what to do. Anyway, so there's the Catholic Church, but, uh, hold on. I get a lifestone. Nice. I don't want to go in just yet, because I think there's an item over here. Nope, that's just I leave. Uh, yeah, let's head inside. I think it really would have been cool if, like, the music just cut off here, but that's just my preference for, uh, cathedrals and whatnot in media anyway. I think Dark Cloud did that, which is why I really want it. Should I confess my sins? God, the angles are fucking me up here. There's my cat's in here and he keeps from touching everything. Anyway, so there's nothing really going on in there. I'm trying to pass off B totally, just blanking on what to do. Because I keep forgetting everything. I haven't really sat down to LP in a while. So I'm a little, uh, a little frazzled. Plus, just in general, I've been kind of frazzled. It's been a stressful summer with the classes and whatnot. I mean, at least we get an opportunity to save. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, then again, I don't know what we were expecting in a cemetery. I'm here for you, buddy. Oh, shit, is this Elf Man? Don't listen to Godo. Stupid. Well. We got you, buddy. We already have a beef with Rasputin, so... But I didn't bring my Sunday best. Also, it's Wednesday. I don't know when I'm uploading this, but I'm recording this uh, July 5th. That's me to bomb my life. I'm definitely going to want to save here because if I remember correctly, this fight's kind of a bitch. Or it's not like super hard, but it's not pleasant. Pleasant at all. Yeah. 
Anyway, let's see if I can avoid getting into one last fight before I get into one more fight. Where could he possibly be hiding? Can't believe he's talking to God. Oh. Why would you say that out loud? That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> and I like Rasputin a lot in this game, he's kind of a dork. Then again, nothing in this game is really taken super seriously. Which does make the serious scenes really stand out. Yeah, what'd you do with him, buddy? Well, yeah, I'm sure he would have loved to have figured them out on his own. <laughs> yeah, you got any uh, info on her? No. Oh. Thank you. Are those red guys that kept wiping us? So, uh, kind of a bad job. Cool, we have uh, people who are interested in us. We could have accidentally stumbled on this pretty easily. Oh shit, we're actually fighting Rasputin himself! Rasputin can be pretty rough. Plus, it's just a long fight. Okay, he's in that one. Oh, don't be a dick. I don't remember if they spin too fast to really... Yep. Yeah. Have fun! Of course, they're Matryoshkas. So you gotta be a little careful, huh? That wasn't in that one. What is that? You forget a lot of his attack. Oh, there he is! What am I doing? Come on, let's rush him! Yeah! Run him over! Break him! Alright, cool, that went a lot faster than I hoped it would. Alright, now's when it gets serious. Alright, come back in, buddy. Now this game, Megiddo is actually Fire Elemental, which is, uh, strange. I'm gonna get Mo Shubu out just because I really want to heal up. It's Fire Elemental, I don't know if it, like, hurts super bad, but, uh, probably don't want to get caught in it. Oh. 
Son of a bitch! I don't even think Guardian helps out against that. Come back out. Obviously, the Matroshkas are weak to be I don't know what that means, but uh... I get what Trailing Death does, but, uh, he is stuck. Uh-oh. Hey, Moshuva, don't forget to heal yourself, you know? Alright, I gotta return her. Alright, well, looks like she's just gonna die, but... That's an issue. Oh, good, she got it. Oh, yeah, we got we go. Oh well. Uh, well, I don't need healing anymore, so I guess I should bring a floor of room out. Uh oh! I don't really know what Trailing Death does, but it doesn't sound fun. I am going to put a Life Stone inside of my body. That's good. I hope it would. Let's get, uh, let me out. I just want another demon to distract, uh... Really does like those ice spells. That's Russia, though. Very cold place. He is still pulling out all the steps. So do you really want anything less from Rasputin? Uh, what demon do I want to uh, get the experience more than anyone else? I guess that doesn't really matter. The only one I would really want is Boragaruma. That was a fun shot. Of course, ending with like the piercing like stab rush attack is always. You okay there, buddy? We didn't actually kill you, did we? <laughs> You're spewing. It's too early for you to die. Oh, jeez. Wow. That wasn't necessarily brutal. Yeah, I guess Lemia could benefit pretty well from it. I don't really like the uh, null party effects. They're generally not that helpful. Man, I love Nier Automata. Better get heading home. Only really nothing else we can do here. He twitches. Ugh. I love Terminator 2. I've never actually seen Terminator 2. Or Terminator 1. She paid us, right? Or were we just expected to sell that jade ring? Is this gonna take place on Shadow Moses Island or the Big Shell? I mean, he hasn't lied to us yet, which is weird. Is he just doing this for kicks? Well, anyway, that's the rather somber end to Chapter 4. So, 
next episode, we're going to start off in Chapter 5. Which is going to be a uh, much more difficult chapter. But the game is, weirdly enough, starting to sort of run towards a close. A lot of the chapters from this point on are very, very short. The first four chapters are the longest ones. So, anyway, I'll see you guys next time.